Welcome basketball fans to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Greg Anthony, Coach Stan Van Gundy, and our reporter, the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. And tonight, we'll be joined by the man with his finger on the pulse of the NBA, no one better than Shams Chirani. Shams, it is so great to have you courtside with us. Well, Kevin, thank you so much. Talking basketball is what I, and honestly, we were born to do, so let's do it. And look at the guys by our side. Man, we all love this game. Let's go right into it. A moment now to check out some numbers for Keldon Johnson. And you can see the surge in his level of confidence lately. Just by looking at that true shooting percentage, it's been moving straight up in the past five games. I think he's feeling it. Now Sacramento starting five. The guard spots filled by Fox and Herter. The post pair for him will be Murray and Sabonis. And it's DeRozan in at the small forward position. And for San Antonio, in the backcourt, it's the veteran Paul paired with Castle. Victor Wembenyama is out there with Harrison Barnes. And it's Champagny in at the three. And it's going to be San Antonio off the tip. And Charms, the whole Sacramento franchise has been transformed under former coach of the year, Mike Brown. Uh, he has the keys to the city at this point, but can it continue, do you think? Well, he's brought a great level of excitement and stability to the franchise. The team is competitive. They've got some young talent on this team. There hasn't been this much optimism in decades, and a lot of that is because of Mike Brown and the championship pedigree he's brought to this organization. And they just signed him to a three-year contract extension, so they have their sights on him for a while. 100%. And you know lifelong Kings fans have to be loving the stability, first and foremost, that he's brought in this organization. Finally seems like they're on the track. Paul passes to Barnes for the three. And despite having a generational talent in Wembenyama, uh, Shams, the Spurs, never skipping steps. They've got great detail to everything they do. The Spurs draft and develop. That has been their calling card. San Antonio may not be a big free agent destination in that game, but who knows, with Victor Wembenyama there, they are going to have the ability to attract players and potentially go after players in trades. They have a ton of capital assets, draft picks that they can trade. And Victor Wembanyama has the ability to be a generational star, like you said, Kevin. Players will eventually want to be. Quickly, can you even go back to a time when they've added Wembanyama? They've added Lively in Dallas. The Thunder's Chad Holmgren, what he did as a rookie. These young bigs have been sensational to watch. The size that the league has added has been off the charts. And the center position might just be back, but let's look at that 2023 NBA draft. Let's revisit that in five to six years. That could be a draft that eventually will be regarded among the very best. And so it's San Antonio with it, following the miss shot by De'Aaron Fox. Pass to Herter. Murray kicks to Herter. Now, here's Fox. No good on the triple. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. You know, Shams, I don't know how many kids grow up thinking they're going to be an NBA insider. But clearly, that is something that you probably thought about at one time or another. Did you think that was going to be your pain? Kevin, I knew at the age of 16 years old what I wanted to do. And this path, I wanted to take an insider for the NBA because I love playing basketball, I love writing, and I had a genuine passion for transactions, for the behind the scenes stories. So to be able to tell that story to the fans, I feel like I am one of the fans. That's why I feel like I can relate to the fans. And so that's what inspired me mostly to take this career path that I take. So connected. It is a pleasure reading you and hearing you. Kevin, appreciate you so much. And just know the stories will keep coming. Now, here's Fox. Coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. San Antonio's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And the basket by Castle. And finally, somebody knocks down a shot. This has not been pretty thus far. And so, it's Mike Brown here calling timeout. He wants to make some adjustments to the game plan, clearly. Both 
teams will make substitutions. Making free throws a big key for any team. Let's see the best in the NBA. Number one, the Kings. In the third spot, the Spurs. Both teams really well served to be very aggressive attacking the rim because of how well they shoot the ball at the free throw line. And uh, 101 left here in the opening quarter. Murray outside. They get the rebound. Here's Fox. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. That one drops for him. Nice work inside from the smaller Fox. So cunning and crafty around the rim. All against Fox. Collins a screen on Fox. Paul passes to Collins. Here's Vassell. Traps in the tray. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. All against Fox. Down to five on the shot clock. From about 16. And no good. Trying to use the glass. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Spurs lead by three. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. Guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Yeah, but it's hard to keep that kind of intensity for the entire game. But if they can come close to that, they'll be in a great spot. Here's McLaughlin. And things can get so intense when NBA rumors start flying, Shams. You know that. The teams are just kind of holding on sometimes for dear life. What is it like when you break a major NBA story like you've done numerous times? It's like when your heart skips a beat, Kevin. It's like when you <laughs> feel like you are in such a, a, a rush and there's a surge of excitement that hits every particle of your body. Every profession obviously has a big payoff, but everything happens so fast. But when it happens, it makes all the hard work worth it. But it certainly, certainly brings a great feeling and I definitely get goosebumps to this day. You get goosebumps, but the hard work you put in to get that story, I know what you guys go through. It is amazing the hours you spend on it. 365, 24-7. On the floor for Sacramento, they've got Monk. Trey Lyles out there with Demonis Sabonis, then it's Ellis, and it's McLaughlin in at the point guard position. Now expansion is coming, Shams. Is the league ready, in your estimation, for some more cities and new teams. The NBA seems to be ready. I, I think I'm ready. Kevin, are you ready? Because the last expansion was, what, 20 years ago? That's the longest wait for this league since it began. And so I think Adam Silver and this league are going to take their time and really figure out exactly where they want to expand to. But the question is, Kevin, are you ready? I am always ready. I know the league is looking even overseas or even maybe south of the border for a possible new entry. But the league has got so much talent on the bottom half of these rosters. I definitely think it's coming. And there's a great appetite, a great desire for a lot of these cities, not only in the States, but also abroad, like you said, to go bring in an NBA team to their city and bring some of the talent, the marquee names to their city. Oh, it'll be Pass to Sabonis. And like his dad back in the day, DeMontis has an innate ability to process and make quick decisions. The Kings shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Both teams deciding to change it up. Up, 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 
Good on both. We've got 155 left now here in the second. And timeout is called by Greg Popovich. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. DeMontis Sabonis set the longest double-double streak in over half a century last season with 61 straight double-doubles. He said it's awesome to be mentioned with the greats. It's my job as a big man to get rebounds and to finish. At the end of the day, we're just out there trying to win. Kevin? Thank you, David. That double-double streak was a blast to watch. Historic in so many ways. Alex Lenz checked in for Sacramento. Paul finds Vassell. One forty-four and left to play here in the half. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Look at the last game for Sacramento. It was a win against Phoenix. And it, it seems odd to say, given that they won that pretty easily, but really, they did not look especially strong in that game. Well, the good teams take their lessons even in wins. They'd like to build on that game and put forth a more complete effort this time around. And Shams, what an absolute delight it has been having you courtside with all of us tonight. Thank you so much for taking time to join us. It has been a true pleasure. Thanks so much for the invite. I can't wait to do it again sometime. I'm honored. I'm privileged. Oh, we are going to hold you to that. Thank you again. Always so much fun to have Shams join us. No one with a better pulse on the NBA. Man, Shams is always the first guy to know about the big moves around the NBA. Love hearing what he has to say. Yeah, and they're fighting to get back in this one, but unfortunately, he just keeps coming up empty. Yeah, and they hold the lead in spite of his cold shooting nights. He has not been able to get it going. Oh. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Now, here's Fox. He's covered closely. Just five to shoot. That one, no good. That's not a bad shot at all. It just didn't go in. Sometimes the process is right, and you still get a bad result. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. It's Sacramento. They lead by a bucket. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what do you think was the main issue during the first half? Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. And you know for that matchup with the Suns, playing the team everyone has to go through in the West. But if you win that one, you can say, we beat the best, don't sleep on us. These are the kind of games that define your season. Let's switch back to the Sacramento Kings, dealing with a thin margin at the half. Playing well on the road can be very difficult. They're doing a good job despite the challenges. Away from home, they aren't letting the crowd get into their heads. In fact, they've looked comfortable at times. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. And Greg, you think about what they call float game. 
Why does that one shot earn a nickname like that? I mean, the, it's a badge of respect, right? The, the floaters, teardrops, whatever you call them, runners, often the finishing touch to an already well-developed offensive arsenal. In the backcourt, it's the veteran Paul paired with Castle. Rem Benyama is out there with Harrison Barnes. And it's Champagny in at the three. The small forward. That's the San Antonio five. Here's Castle. After the basket by De'Aaron Fox. Inside. Barnes passes to Champagny. It's not going to go for him. Kings leading now by four. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. And he's good on the three ball. Fox has got five points now this quarter. And at the arc, Fox has only gotten bolder. He takes threes without even thinking about it. Well, Stan, when the Spurs landed the first overall pick in the draft, their fortunes changed back on May 16th, 2023. Look, Kevin, the hardest thing for any franchise is to find the guy that you can build everything around. When they got Wimbenyama, that dream came true for San Antonio, and they've got the guy they can build this franchise around for years to come. Spurs trail by five. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Castle. Wimbenyama, a screen on Herder. Castle misses. Well, this was his shot to miss, honestly. Poor coverage, good setup. He just couldn't knock it down. And making three of their first four shots in this half is a strong start. Now it's about growing that momentum. And timeout is called by Greg Popovich. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. See how things are shaken out in the West early in the season. Take a look at the Kings. Solid start to the season so far, sitting in sixth place. And of course, the Spurs. Not really any threat right now, as their record showing a lot more losses. Yeah, you know, for the Kings, most of the preseason predictions were right on the money when it came to them. I mean, a playoff contender, but not necessarily championship caliber. Well, sometimes those teams that are on the edge can be the most dangerous. They play like they have something to prove. Here's Fox following the bucket by the Spurs. Murray outside. Shot clock at six. Murray. Rebounded by Victor Wembenyama. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin. Greg Popovich is guiding a young Spurs team that's hoping to return this franchise to the dominance that saw five titles since 1999. Pop said the standards haven't changed. Be very direct, demand, be fair, and love them. You gotta know you care about them. So it's all the same formula from 25 years ago to today. Kevin? It's an interesting story, David. Thank you. And of course, as a Hall of Famer, are you bringing that to us? <laughs> Herder, no oh good. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Castle misses. Well, it's been a frustrating night for him at the offensive end. Just not able to give them any kind of a lift. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. On the Spurs with some changes. Zach Collins checked in for Victor Wembenyama. And it's Vassell in for Castle. And a change for the Kings. Ellis has checked in. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Collins. A shot off that time. Nice D from Sabonis. Definitely got to use the clock here and get the last shot. Yeah, but if you get an open look, you got to think about taking it no matter how much time is left on the clock. Kicks it out to Ellis. Takes the three. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And we've watched three so far in this one. 
Kings lead by five. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And now a sneak peek into the huddle with Greg Popovich. We had a lot of great shots and have them drop. A lot of great shots. Keep moving the ball. It's the key. The ball's got to move. People got to move. And this is what Greg Popovich wants to see, guys, playing unselfishly and taking good shots. Yeah, and having a little bit of bad luck offensively, but the coach wants them to stay confident. Just keep running the offense. Trust in who you are. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the floor for Sacramento, they've got Kevin Herter. Ellis is out there with Fox. Then it's Alex Len, and it's Lyles into the power forward position. Now here's Ellis. From deep, Collins grabs the miss. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. And that'll be the fourth of this five-game homestand. On deep, Collins. It's rebounded by Herter. The Kings leading. To the middle. The kick out to Fox. Piles a screen on Vassell. Fox passes to Herter. Pocket six. Len sets a screen for Herbert. Fires the three. No good there. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Right side, Collins. Ingram outside. Spurs working the ball around now. The cell, no good. Sacramento's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Ellis can't get it to go. Spurs have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Branham, the pass to Johnson. Connects from three-point range. Johnson's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for San Antonio. And so it's Mike Brown here calling timeout. Wants to make sure everybody's coordinated and intent. Five on the floor. Then for the Kings, Sabonis, he's checked in for Alex Len. Murray comes in for Trey Lyles, and DeMar DeRozan subbed in for Ellis. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, thanks, guys. Was able to hear Mike Brown during the break. The coach told his players, hey, they're feeling the pressure over there. Keep pressing, keep fighting. They're starting to crack. Now let's get this game even, guys. All right, David, thanks. And here is Paul. Following the three-pointer from De'Aaron Fox. Here's Wimbenyama. DeRozan with the rebound. Sacramento's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And Herter gets it to go. And DeRozan, an excellent passer, finding his open teammate. Now here's Paul. This one for three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got five rebounds tonight. Pass to DeRozan. And there's Fox. That's good on the assist from DeRozan. Now it's a seven-point Kings lead. And the Spurs with possession. Now Wembenyama. Defended by Sabonis. Shot to stop the run. Wembenyama no good. Sacramento's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. 
pass to DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down hard. And, and it's just competing. It's hard, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, they've got clutch guys on this team, and they never let up. And timeout is called by Greg Popovich. He's very aware of the timing here and the significance of getting things squared away with his team. Here's Wambanyama for three. Here's Barnes. And that's good. A nice job of the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And here are the Kings now. Takes it from 10. Rebounded by the Spurs. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. It falls! And now they trail by just four. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. So they foul intentionally. First personal foul. First team foul. Twenty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter, and so they choose to intentionally foul. Second personal foul. Second team foul. the first one and that puts them up by five so he goes two for two at the line and it's a six point ball game good job converting at the line and helping to build this lead and we've got a timeout from Greg Popovich he's not taking any chances he wants to huddle him up right away There's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth. A three from Wembenyama. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Yeah, they might want to draw something up here to get him something at the rim or get him to the free throw line. Sometimes that's all it takes to snap a cold streak. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And the second of two is good. That makes it a seven-point lead. And Greg, it looks like time is going to run out on him here. Yeah, I mean, unless they come up with an absolute miracle. So it's Sacramento picking up the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. DeMar, big effort tonight. What is the state of mind of this club right now? Just we focus in, in on the defensive end. You know, if we get stops, we can definitely score whenever we want. And you got it done tonight, DeMar. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. With Stan Van Gundy, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, folks on 2K Sports.